What's going on, Radical Marketers? Welcome back to the Radical Marketer YouTube channel where we talk about how to leverage credit, how do we leverage social media, and how we make money online. So, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about just being real and having real conversations. No flashy cameras, no tr flashy tran transitions, none of that stuff. So like, comment, subscribe because you are going to get the real. I make videos based on your questions, so comment below any type of questions that you have, okay? Now, we are going to talk about how to get guaranteed approvals from American Express, okay? I've had people ask me, how do you get approved? What do you I need to know? Things like that, so we are gonna talk about it. So, in the comment section below, comment what cards you have with Amex, any strategies, any tips that you have dealing with Amex, with reconsideration line, whatever the case is, comment below, be an active part of the community. And we also have a private Facebook group that you can check out in the link below as well. All right, guys, so how do we get approved for American Express credit cards? One of the best ways and one of the easiest ways that you can get approved, um, get automatic approvals from American Express is by joining yourself as an authorized user to somebody that already has American Express. What do I mean? Well, let's say I have the gold card or let's say I have the Hilton card and I say, hey, you can be on my account as an authorized user and that way you know you can start building rapport and, and data points with uh, with American Express yeah I would love to do that so what would happen is is I would call them up or you would call them up um, and most likely I would call them up because I'm the primary card holder I would call them up say I want to add an authorized user and they would say great what is their name their social and their date of birth okay so I'd be giving them three key things that they would need to know, okay? What's your social, what's your date of birth, and what's your name, okay? Now, once you're an authorized user on my account, guess what? Now Amex has that information and can start sending you pre-qualified uh, offers to get you part of the ecosystem of American Express because you're already an authorized user. They're like, great, they're being responsible. Let's bring them into the fold, okay? Um, it used to be very, very difficult for people to get approved for American Express. You'd have to usually have a 720 or higher. Um, they've kind of laxed the, the requirements to be approved for American Express, which is really nice, equaling the playing fields, of course. Um, so joining yourself to anybody that has an American Express is going to be your easiest way to get in the door for pretty much an uh, automatic approval. I, once you're an authorized user, I would wait at least 90 days before I would apply for my own American Express card. Uh, I like that 90-day mark. It's a quarter of the year, and usually the banks have what they need in that quarter to see your spending habits and things like that. Okay. The second way to get approved, automatic approval from American Express that I've seen is through their prepaid serve card. Why is that? Well, when you're using the serve card, they see your spending habits, they see where you're spending your money, how you're spending your money, how much money you're spending. Um, and they would love to bring you on board if it's responsible spending, right? If you're spending money, American Express is making money. So that is gonna be another way that they reach out to you and say, hey, be part of the American Express family. And that would be a second way that I would go about doing that if I was trying to get approved for American Express. Now. There's a third way, but I also want to let you guys know, if you watch the entire video, I'm going to give you a bonus tip as well, okay? So keep watching. So the third way to do that is w through their savings or money market accounts, opening a savings account with them or a money market account. Why would you want to do that? Well, you're building data points once again with American Express. If you do that, that is probably their, their least risk to take on you because if you don't pay your credit card debt, they'll take your money out of your money market or your savings account. They'll try to take that money, okay? So um, your best bet is probably the third option and then the first option and then the second option. I like to kind of mix it up a little bit, but having a savings and money market account is building data points with American Express. They like that. That's capital that they have and that's gonna be very, very helpful for you to get approved for American Express if you're doing that, okay? Now, the, the bonus tip on how to get approved uh, with American Express or an automatic approval is once you are already in this system, right? You already have an American Express card. You've been paying it for at least six months. 
and you want to open a business card, you want to go for the business platinum, the business gold, whatever the case is. Um, the easiest way to do that is once you're already with them because when I applied for my business gold card, I didn't even have a hard pull. And I got a, a guaranteed approval for that and then uh, another business card with them as well, okay? So they automatically approved me um, and then I also didn't have any type of hard pull whatsoever, okay, with American Express. Now, I want to give you guys a couple more nuggets to deal with American Express. I'm going to be making some videos about what not to do with American Express. American Express is a company that you want to be very careful what you put on the credit application. If you lie on the credit, they will ask for proof of income. If you don't provide that proof of income, they could shadow ban you or ban you from all of their products, and that's happened to many people. Or they can pull you into very small credit limits where they don't actually let you out of those small credit limits, okay? American Express is great to deal with in many ways, and in this way, they can be very, very difficult, okay? So a lot of the things that you've been told about what to put on credit apps and things like that, you wanna be very careful, and I'll be going over those exact data points in a separate video, so make sure that you're subscribed to the, the channel. Uh, it helps us out greatly, of course. But you wanna be very, very careful on what you are doing on your applications when you're applying for American Express. And here's another thing as well. I'm gonna give you another uh, tip. When you're spending money with American Express, you wanna be very, very careful that you're not sending large amounts through PayPal, through Cash App. Um, they don't like that. They look at that as trying to manipulate the reward system. Um, they frown upon that. I've seen people get their card shut down for spending, using their cards to purchase things that could be looked down upon, okay? So you wanna be very careful on what you're using and how you're using your American Express credit cards when it comes to spending and when it comes to applying for the credit cards, okay? And then the last caveat I'll leave you as well, see, that's why you wait to the end of the videos, right? Is <clears throat> they have amount of limit of cards that you can have with them. And I'm gonna do a separate video on that as well. So if you have four to five cards, you're pushing it, okay? Um, so you wanna make sure that you don't already have a lot of cards before you apply again, um, because you don't wanna be you won't be getting denied if you don't gotta get denied, okay? Now, if those were helpful, go ahead and like the video, subscribe. Uh, I try to help people as much as I can. I know people have been asking about the automatic approvals with Amex. Those are three ways to do it. Money markets and savings, serve card, and then also adding yourself as an AU and authorized user on somebody else's account. Those are gonna be the easiest ways to get into American Express. And then on the business side of things, already having an account on the personal side will help you get on the business side, okay? Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. You do not want to miss what I got dropping next. Take care. Peace.